this is Arthur Todd. Hope everybody's having a great summer so far and enjoying their term. We're almost done here and everybody will be on a little bit closer to uh, graduation. This, uh, this semester we've discussed a whole bunch of very interesting trends as it regards to sports, things that are currently evolving, things that will happen in the near future, and things that will uh, impact sports for many years to come. One such thing that is uh, really gaining steam and was actually just voted on here this past uh, this past January is the uh, intentions on the Power Five schools and many many of the main time Division One college football programs to uh, to start offering a uh, full cost of attendance measure in addition to the scholarship. There, there's a lot of in ins and outs to that. A whole lot of money else has to be raised for that, and so we're going to get into that today and discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of implementing this full cost of attendance measure. The cost of attendance stipend will be given to student athletes that are on full athletic scholarship to help with expenses outside of school. The measure can cover expenses related to cell phones, laundry, school supplies, and transportation. This trend will have significant impacts on the industry of collegiate athletics. First and foremost, where will this money come from? How will these benefits be paid for year in and year out? A lot of schools have done some very creative problem solving. For example, Colorado State head coach Jim McElwain was hired away, hired away by the Florida Gators. Coach McElwain had a buyout at Colorado State of $7 million. Because he was hired away before his contract expired, the University of Florida is liable for the $7 million buyout. In a nice use of funds, Colorado State Athletic Director Joe Parker has said that these funds have been earmarked for the next three to five years to help pay for Colorado State's annual expense of $654,000 to pay this cost of attendance for their student athletes. Georgia Tech expects their cost of attendance bill to be about half a million dollars annually. This year, they decided to supplement that with funds with revenue from the Rolling Stones concert. The Rolling Stones played legendary Bobby Dodd Stadium last week in downtown Atlanta, selling out the show to a fantastic spectacular that, that drew uh, about 70,000 or so folks. Uh, a lot of other schools sometimes host concerts during the summer. Ohio State is hosting a concert series, a big country music fest. However, athletic director said um, that they will not use any funds for their cost of any of this revenue for cost of attendance. Rather, that they will uh, fulfill cost of attendance measures using uh, bowl money and uh, TV revenue from the Big Tw Ten Network. So, what does this mean? Most Division One programs sponsor anywhere from 15 to 20 some odd sports and have nearly 250 uh, athletes on scholarship. As mentioned, these uh, scholarship costs, these uh, cost of attendance measures, range anywhere from an additional 500,000 to 1.6 million dollars for some of the Power Five conference schools. The task here with the athletic department falls on to the CFO to be uh, more financially uh, more financially responsible, make these dollars last further, but also it li relies really heavily on the development office. The development office is the fundraising engine of these athletic departments, and they'll just be tasked, as always, with trying to raise more and more money to cover the, increase the ever-increasing uh, cost of tuition, but now with this added expense there, the cost of attendance, in ordering to um, that all their men and women compete for championships and honor roll in the classroom and then um, and then strive for excellence on the fields. It's been a great semester guys. I've learned a whole lot from you guys. Hope you all have uh, enjoyed what I brought to the table and uh, take care and we may see you here in uh, the next term. Bye.